Do not despise prophetic utterances. So, you know, you can see churches, how they don't believe in prophecy. Well, God revealed something to me. It was just last night. He popped it right up in my mind. He said, James, I'm not talking about that only. I began to see a vision. He said, let's see if someone speaks a prophecy, prophetic word. And it lines up with the word of God, right? And it's for the edification. When people don't listen to it, it's God speaking, not the man. So he said, don't despise. And actually, despise there in the Greek means utterly to no account. That means very little. I, I don't believe that. You see them, and it could be God. So if it's God's word speaking out, there's one thing. If it's God's word speaking out, it's the word of God. And we know the word of God is truth. So with that, that's what he meant. He said, but examine everything carefully. Hold fast to that which is good. Now, I love what it says, you know, it's like other translation. You'll say, examine everything carefully, but obey that which is good. You know, so we obey the word that's being spoken, that which is good. Now, he says examine here, and that means test according to what? What do we examine? To the word. We get some funky prophecy, man. They line up with the word law and some funky stuff. <laughs> you know? But let's say if there's a prophetic warning or a prophetic uh, encouragement or comfort or um, edification in any way, you can know that God had done this in this word, actually. A lot of it, you would consider, they considered that edification the Old Testament. Man, he was strict. You are going to die if this, it's like crazy stuff, you know? But inside that, we know that God still works the same way, but he works with more grace. That's the only thing that's different, you know? So with that, we find out that we hold fast. It means, that means we begin to do what is being said. Then it says this, abstain from every form of evil. Now, why would he say that after that? Because this is the stuff that puts doubts in our minds not to do the prophetic word or the word of God. Every form of evil. What's he saying? Any type of thing that's in front that is evil, it's troublesome. It disturbs the spirit. All these things create doubt in our heart. And now when we hear the word of God, we're, we're like, I'm not understanding that. Or I'm not going to do that. You see what I'm saying? It's because it has creeped inside. So with that, that's, that's what he means by this. And he goes on to say, now may the God of peace himself sanctify you entirely. So what he's saying is if you abstain from all these things, you're doing all this stuff, you'll be sanctified entirely. And may your spirit and soul and body be preserved complete without blame at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithful is he who calls you, and he also will bring it to pass. So what he's saying is if we focus on these things, we keep doing these things, we don't give up in God. He says he will what? Bring it to pass.